What's going on guys? Sam with Sam's Man Tree. I haven't done a video on the stump grinder. Everyone's asking me for one. So I have an SC40. Now this video is not going to go super in depth with the SG4. I'm going to show you some of the good things, some of the bad things. And the main thing is, as another tree service, would you buy one? I'm going to say two things. Yes, I would buy one if I was tree service. And no, I would not buy one if I was tree service. It doesn't really make much sense, does it? But it does. So we never had a stump grinder. We were subbing out every single stump. Um, once in a while, if I had a whole bunch lined up and the customers were cool and I knew they would be patient, we'd go rent one from Rent Equip. Um, it's like 500 bucks uh, for a day, or if you get it on like a Friday evening for the weekend, you get an RG80, which is a great sump grinder. Um, you know, the problem with renting, and I've always told people this, if you have a breakdown on a Saturday and the rental yard's closed, you're screwed. So all your customers, and it's a lot of wasted time, and that time is money. So owning your own sump grinder and being able to just throw it on a truck and a trailer and bang out a $200 sump right when you're there, that's, in my eyes, that's just an extra 200 bucks in your pocket at the end of the day or the week or the month or whatever. So owning something, there's a lot of value in owning it. So... The SG40, I never had a sump grinder. So for me, it, it's a great investment um, because now it allows us to do some stumps. Um, realistically, this machine will do any size stump. This is a very professionally made stump grinder by Bandit. It's small. It's one of their smallest professional grade stump grinders. Um, that being said, it, when you're grinding stumps, guys, this cutter wheel will cut any type of wood. It does not matter. I have the new river wheel, the green teeth wheel, the stump grinders will cut anything, uh, no matter the size of stump grinder you have. That's why you see these guys in England with like those Alpine grinders. They're still able to grind. The issue with a smaller stump grinder is not the cutting ability. The wood chips is nothing, or the wood is nothing. It's the wood chips, the dirt, and the hole, and the depth of the hole. So you can grind a stump like this in like about an hour under an hour or so if you remove the material so if you're grinding a big sump and you have a ditch witch nearby or a loader nearby and you remove the material as you're grinding that sump's only going to take you an hour or under if you do not remove the material because this one doesn't have a blade or anything if you are just grinding and you're just shoving that wheel through all that junk that stump is going to take you two hours if not more um, that's the thing. The, the lower horsepower machine, this motor is not really good for anything other than revving up this wheel. And that wheel has inertia that will cut into the stump. Once you're under load, this motor cannot keep up with the wheel. And that's just, that's really how most stump grinders are. So larger wheel can power through most more stuff. This is a small stump grinder, guys. It's not a very big one, um, but that's the benefit. I mean, we could put them side by side on the trailer. With another machine i know you guys are gonna be like oh that's not a proper way to shop they don't move i'm cool with it whatever we're local we don't really go far so so some cool things are with f sg40 it's on tracks um at first i didn't like tracks and then i was thinking about it, I'm like, man i really kind of do like tracks because you can maneuver in the stump super fast um no tearing up whatever uh the cooler it's been doing me good i don't i mean i don't know it's a warranted motor that's all i really care about it's been doing me good um the tanks are here for the hydraulic and the fuel uh, i wish the fuel tank was always bigger but on every single machine i own i wish the fuel tanks were bigger very simple controls right track left track the cutter head that's down up left right that's how you engage the cutter head emergency stop that's it the Nice thing is with the Bandit, they swing out both sides. Almost no company. I think Bandit's the only company with the controls that swing out on both sides. In the summertime, we, we grind on this side. In the wintertime, when we're cold, we grind on that side because that's where the exhaust is. It keeps you warmer. Um, these shields are really good, guys. Uh, I really never have anything come up at me. Um, I still wear my face shield and everything. Uh, the grease fittings are very easy to get a hold of. You could get to all the grease fittings in about a minute, two minutes, not even. So uh, it is a belt driven machine. So on a machine this small with a motor this small, I really don't think you want anything other than belt driven. Um, I don't really think you can do really much other than belt driven. So uh, adjust the belt probably once a week or so. 
um the belt is kind of hard to get to so um i understand what they did with making this shield tight but i'd rather have it a little bit looser and just worry about cleaning it out more that's really all i care about uh something to know when you have a larger wheel so this is a narrow wheel here this is a smaller wheel um you're gonna be hitting your guard more so the guard um will inhibit you with stump grinding and getting into that last corner so that's just something to note when you are grinding um compared to a bigger grinder the bigger grinder you'll be able to get more of that stump out before hitting this not a big deal guys um it's a very well made machine uh you have your hydraulic belts and stuff over here for your pump and motor you got swing cylinder here just one you don't need two uh less weight you know so other than that it's a good machine um it's narrow you know it fits in any size gate really uh, uh the only complaints i really have are the hydraulics are very jumpy these two valves are so jumpy um my guys are and me included we're kind of like we don't like loading this machine up or we don't really like moving this machine around it's very jumpy i haven't popped a track um not yet so what else do i like about this machine yeah that's about it guys so when i said would i buy this machine yes i mean this machine yes and no this machine lets me grind stumps and it lets me uh make money and help our customers get a one-stop shop with our tree service but as a tree service guys i can't tell you how many times my guys are waiting for me grinding this stump so and something with a smaller horsepower machine you gotta understand is you can't power through as much stuff so like um sometimes if you don't cut the bottom of the stump out and you move forward and now you got like this big half moon of you'll stall this wheel out really fast you you only really want to be cutting with like a quarter or a third of the wheel but sometimes you accidentally cut with half the wheel it stalls it pretty much immediately so um these are harder to run i thought buying a smaller machine would help me learn how to run a sump grinder which is kind of true i mean like i really finesse this thing now and i do a really good job with it i have i think 80 no i have like 60 hours on this thing i think about 50 60 hours or so um good machine i haven't had any issues with it um the reason i say i would not buy this is if you need a sump grinder to like grind a bunch of stumps and you're a tree service i would go up a size or two um yes this will do any size stump yes this thing will get you into the stump grinding business but when you have other stuff to do and you have guys waiting on you and you have trucks rolling out or waiting for you to finish a stump or vice versa it's it's an inhibitor it's a bottleneck and it's not this machine you know it's not the, pr the machine's problem the machine is made to do what it can do but me as a tree service and talking to you guys as tree services or whoever you you need production and this machine one more quick thing this machine like i said with its duty cycle so welders have a duty cycle because they overheat this machine has a duty cycle so does any other stump grinder i mean i've i've overheated big stump grinders i've overheated big diesel stump grinders you could do it this one will overheat as well so we put a leaf blower on it if we're just finishing up with something we just but you will notice a loss of like probably like 10 horsepower if it's running hot um we've never had any engine codes or anything but you could tell it when it runs a little bit hotter it uh it really needs um some uh some love so it's not made for giant stumps it could do them absolutely i i would say if you're a new stump grinder and you just started your stump grinding business that, that's a great machine because you have the time to sit there and grind a big stump for a few hours um when you're first starting off so that's my thoughts on it guys i hope this helps you um i think the machine's like twenty six thousand. it's the cheapest machine you can buy um with the most value it really is so i haven't had any issues we run this thing probably three times a week so thank you guys for watching appreciate it hope you guys learn uh and glad i could help you guys out